Spotlight for Ja hasn't come without critics, of course. Clayton Collier was at Grizzlies practice today as Morant responded to one of them. Ja Morant is the number one story in the NBA this week. We must see TV. Every time we step on the floor, something special happens. Following his 52-point effort in Monday's win over the Spurs, Morant was the lead in every national sports program. Now, most expressed amazement at his poster dunker, his acrobatic buzzer beater, but it wasn't all praise. Fox Sports host Colin Coward questioned Morant's ability to have sustained success in the NBA. Fans in the media have fallen for this five times in the last 12 years. It's called John Wall. It's called Westbrook. It's called uh, uh, Derek Rose. Derek Rose was every bit John Morant. He literally took over social media. He took over cable TV. I am very skeptical about the long-term championship odds for springy athletic guards that drive and score. After seeing the comments last night, Morant tweeted, Oh, Colin. And Wednesday after practice, the Grizzlies All-Star was asked about the criticism. What's his last name? Coward. Oh, uh, <laughs> nah, I seen, I looked him up after I seen it, after it got sent to me, so I just tweeted that, but I seen some of his past takes, and I'm not even, you know, putting my energy towards that, you know, I'm protecting my energy. Throughout his MVP caliber season, Moran has often thanked critics after big games, but he says he has no plans to do that for Coward. Have another show, just keep talking. Oh, yeah. Colin, that was, oh, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, another guy. Gonna... Well, yeah. Yeah, I just didn't see the point of it, honestly. The Grizzlies play the Celtics Thursday in a game that will now be seen on national television. TNT added the game to their schedule this weekend. They learn pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> At FedEx Forum, I'm Clayton Collier.